All right, we're checking out Jing OS, and I got it run here live on VirtualBox. It is 2.5 gigabyte to download, and it appears I have some already uh, some updates there. So I was first messing with it, and I get stuck in these windows, and so I'm going to try not to uh, because once I get stuck in the window, it just doesn't do anything. Uh, if I mess with the audio. It gets stuck in that window and just shows a little audio symbol right here. I can't do anything. Sometimes when I click on the system settings, it, it just hit and miss. So hopefully I can get through this video without getting just a, a screen. So this is the way it boots up. You got the photos, web browser, media player, calendar, calculator, and all this other stuff, media stuff on the uh, desktop there. Then you got this little docky down here. And uh, I think you can swipe that way and get some more stuff there. So, you know, it is intended for the um, touchpad, but I was hoping you could probably use it for a desktop of some kind of way, you know. And you notice my uh, cursor there is just a little swiper thing. It's not really a cursor, it's just a dot. But there, uh, I also noticed that it has a bunch of KDE uh, stuff in it. Uh, so, uh, like KDE Connect, uh, it uses the KDE uh, system settings and stuff like that. So... Uh, now, like I said, it it seems kind of iffy, and it could be, you know, it's running on VirtualBox here. So you swipe down here, I get this notification center, and swipe back up, and I swipe down right about here, and I get this other thing. So Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, audio, ringer, and all this. Now, if I click on this audio thing, it just shows this uh, dark screen with this little white uh, little symbol right there the audio symbol and doesn't do anything doesn't go anywhere now if i go to these settings here this will pop up and show this stuff information you know uh count cellular let's see what else appearance time date pin and all that and then if you notice this little thing down here you click on that and it goes away and then we have the kde system settings and another thing that i did notice it uh does have the desktop cube and all that stuff in here and the desktop effects so you scroll down here and we got the desktop do now i'm not going to try to mess with that on running here live on a virtual box but there it all is and then you click right here and it goes away so here is uh your what's it terminal and uh there that is you click on this hopefully it'll go away and let's see what this is okay that uh, looks like some kind of um, package manager okay so you click on that and that goes away and this is that other system settings okay so all oh, that's working now we figured that out okay so you can scroll this way scroll that way and it has a lot of KDE stuff so I guess it's built on a KDE or something. I don't know. Uh, but uh, let's see. This, I don't know. I'm not sure what that is. Not a, I, I can't remember what I did. There was a couple of things that just kept messing me up. So I don't want to click on too much on this video. Because then I get stuck in that window. So a lot of the stuff on the desktop I didn't click on yet. I'm sure it'll be fine. But it seems like... Uh, some things over here mess me up and everything. So let, let's say calculator. Okay, it goes into this big window. Okay, I didn't really. I, I guess you know it would be okay for a big window if it's going to be on a tablet. Um, you can add things, you know, like that. And then if you got to get out, you got to get, you know, just click down there at the bottom. Okay, let's see how the web browser does. Let's see how you would uh, browse the internet. So that's how uh, full screen, you know, it's going to go full screen. And big tabs. And I don't know if there's any way to change that, uh, but it, it's, it ain't going to be uh, anything that, you know, I was hoping it was probably be something that uh, could also be used for the desktop, but... I don't see that anyone would want to use this for the desktop because it's just not uh, usable for a desktop. Uh, so let's see what else. You got photos. Everything opens up uh, in a full screen, and that's why, you know, I mean, how are you going to use that, you know? 
Uh, let's see, as far as that uh, KDE stuff, there's the K system guard. And the system, uh, what is that, the system monitor, their CPU history and all that. And you always got to click down here if you want to get out of that. Uh, let's see what else did it have. There's the Dolphin file browser. Go through all the uh, browsing the files there. And so that's uh, that. And let's see what else. So, you know, it's, um, there's a clock. Okay, that one I was able to get out of. Okay, there's the clock. Stopwatch. Okay. And let's see. Uh, now, some of these over here, um, I wasn't able to get out of. So, if it it messes up, um, I'll, t I'll show you this one on the end of the video, uh, what this one does. So that way I can just end the video and, I don't know, well, I, you know, it, it just shows a screen and, uh, you know, when I first clicked on this one, I was sitting here and I was looking through it and I was thinking, how do I get out of this thing? And I was swiping this way, I was swiping this way and uh, couldn't get out of it. And then I figured out you have to go down here and click on this thing. So, um, that's that. Um, as far as, let's see, desktop effects, I, I bet you it's going to have the, uh, let's see if the uh, wobbly or the cube works. Okay, it's not doing apply. Okay, there it goes. It's kind of weird that you have to get really in the corner over there. Okay, so the desktop cube, and I don't see the um, settings row two rows wait a minute desktops we need uh four of them and click apply now let's see if that works okay see now i'm stuck in this thing okay what happened to it now it just totally went blank so i might have to reboot again okay there it just shut down it just uh okay what did it do did my cube work no it's this is the login screen okay well my uh thing ain't working no more Oh, there it is, finally. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, and we're back in. Okay, let's see if my cube works. No. Oh, there's the cube. So, the cube does work. Maybe it was just uh, loading. Um, yeah, it seems like uh, it doesn't. Uh, now it just froze up again. We'll see if that clears up. Uh, it, it just, <laughs> and, you know, it could be because, but, you know, I mean, even KDE runs pretty good in VirtualBox. Okay, do I have to do something? Oh, no, it's, okay, there. Let's see if we can uh, uh, configure the uh, cube a little better. Okay, we have to get uh, cube, the grid, desktop grid. Okay, where are the settings? Screen edge, virtual desktop. Okay, where is the, that's what I can't find is where the, there is no settings. Okay, what is this? Okay, there. Uh, settings. Okay, transparency, uh, display desktop name, reflection, advanced, uh, zoom, show caps. Okay. And that should do it, right? So let's see how that looks. Okay, that looks a lot better. So there's your desktop cube. I don't know how you would do that on a uh, touchpad, but, uh, and then I know, <laughs> see, why is it getting stuck? It, it wants to stick. 
Okay, it should rotate back. Once I release. It's weird how it's getting stuck, but the video is not about uh, the desktop cube. Now, this won't fire up. I don't know. It just seems kind of um, like it's thinking about things too much. But, yeah, it's not going to be something for the desktop, definitely. Um, it, it, you know, I don't The way it's running on VirtualBox, I don't know how it's going to run on a tablet because... We'll have to see, but uh, you swipe down the panel, you know, it's, it's, there's no right clicking on the panel. I don't know. I guess not, uh, you, you're not going to be able to put folders and stuff. I mean, there is, uh, I mean, you can move these icons here. I guess it's just for the icons that uh, go on the desktop. So. When you install stuff, it's just going to put them on the desktop. So, uh, let's see. Will this fire back up, or am I not clicking on it right? Or is it open still? Okay, there's that thing. Okay, let's see. Software version. There it is, GingOS. KDE Plasma version 5.20.2, KDE Framework, and all that good stuff with uh, kernel that has 5.4. And we click that, get out of that. Okay, now how come I can't get back into the system settings? That's so strange. Okay, there's photos. We've seen that. That all works. Voice memo. So, you know, um, what can I say about it? I'll, we'll have to see how it works on um, the tablets. And there's that blank screen. I bet you this thing is just going to give me a blank screen and ain't going to show me anything. This is what it was doing to me. Uh, I was getting stuck in these screens like this. And then uh, it just sits there and I can't do anything. And I, I shouldn't have clicked on that one again. It's almost like because I already clicked on it once before and showed it to you. And it, it seems like uh, the second time I click on it, this is what it does. And so I don't know if that's, you know, me VirtualBox thing or whatever. So I guess I'm going to wrap this video up here. I'm just going to have to look at this screen and uh, in this video because I, I don't feel like rebooting this thing again. I'm done looking at it. Um, I wasn't uh, too impressed with it. Um... Even for, you know, a, a tablet, I'm not impressed. You, you know, that it's even, you know, that it's made for a tablet and it's going on a tablet, I'm not impressed with it. <laughs> you know, that it's going on. Uh, so how do I get out of this? I don't know. Just stuck in that screen. So I guess I'm going to wrap this up here. All right, I'm out for this one. This was Jing OS. Um, yeah, I'm out.